It's a truism in the world of personal development that you can't go for what you want until you know what you want. And for a lot of us, we have a vague idea of what we want, but we're not very clear about it. It's kind of fuzzy. Yeah, I want to lose weight. I want to be healthier. I want to be more active, but we don't actually picture what would my body look like? What would I be doing? What would it feel like? Where would I be? And there's a reason I think that we avoid that kind of clarity. And the reason is not that we're not good at visualizing. Like if I asked you, you know, visualize your favorite movie actor or musician, someone that you can picture really, really well, picture them sitting um, on a piano bench eating a salad, holding a red fork. You could probably do it. Right. You could probably look at the expression on their face, see little bits of, of broccoli sprouts falling out of their mouth. It's not that we're bad at visualizing. The problem with visualizing these goals, these outcomes, these longings is that it takes courage because when we don't have clarity, we don't really have to worry about what it would be like to get it or not. But once we're clear, now there's the possibility of disappointment. There's the possibility of I'm seeing this thing and I'm not going to get it. I can see it. I can feel it. I can almost taste it. And what if I don't achieve it? So we protect ourselves from that kind of disappointment by not going for clarity. And of course, the outcome is when we don't go for clarity, we don't get it anyway. So we're disappointed. We're just not setting ourselves up in advance for that disappointment. We can look back later and say, well, I never even went for it. So when you think about what you want, realize that going for clarity isn't a matter of visualizing better, of thinking better, of planning better. It's an issue of courage, of emotional courage. So as you go for clarity, look for one small piece of it. Maybe what your body will look like, maybe the clothes you'll wear, maybe a thing you could do, a hike you could go on, a sport you could participate in, a dance you could join in and feel where the fear lives in your body, the fear of disappointment, the fear of not making it and simply breathe in and out and let that fear be there. Let yourself feel it because the fear itself is not the problem. It's our unwillingness to feel it that keeps us stuck. So get some clarity, a small amount, feel the fear of disappointment come up, stay with it, breathe through it, accept it, and then see if goal setting and achieving clarity doesn't become a little bit easier every single time until you end up with a vision that means enough to you to go for it. Have a great day.